All right, today we are going to be learning how to use SketchUp. So just open your Google Chrome browser, type in SketchUp. If you just search it on Google, it'll be this first one. Go here, go to Try SketchUp. And as I'm going through this video, make sure to pause and then go back to your browser, go step by step, make sure that each step is done correctly before you try to move on to the next step. Right here, it's going to take us right to professional projects. We're not professionals. We're personals, I guess. <laughs> uh, go to personal projects and SketchUp free is what we want. We don't want to pay any money. We don't want the trial. So go to start modeling. This is going to load. This says this means SketchUp is loading. It takes a minute for it to load. Okay, so now that that's loaded, it'll take me to my home screen. I'll see my saved projects here. Um, we're going to go to this arrow right here. Um, this can modify the units that we're going to be using. For the shelf, we're going to be doing fractional inches. So go ahead and click that. Double click, it'll start loading. Once it's pulled up, you'll see the man. You'll see this is the name of your project right now. It's untitled. So I want you to delete the man. And then the very first thing you should do is go up here and give this a title. If you give this a title, I'm going to name it shelf underscore one. Save here. If I give this a title, now it'll start saving for me as I go. If I leave it untitled, I'm going to have problems. If I exit out, it's not going to be saved. So I'm going to show you a few ways to get around here. Um, this is our toolbar on the left side. Uh, the orbit tool is quite important. It helps uh, if you click, it'll start orbiting around the screen. If I press and hold shift, this turns to the pan tool, which means I can click and just hold the camera to move my view left and right. Those are both very important as you're going to be going through this. I would recommend using a mouse if you have a mouse. I have a few in the back of the room you can borrow. Uh, to start out our shelf, let's go right here and get the square tool. We're going to click right here, and I just click once. I'm not holding this click as I drag. I just click once. Don't hold the click. I clicked once. I started to drag. This establishes the direction that I want SketchUp to draw the square. And down here, I'm going to type 16, 36. And you'll notice in this corner right here, the dimensions start to change. So let me go back 16 comma 36 see that's right there on the dimensions and then you have to press enter I mean, sorry I accidentally clicked 16 comma 36 enter okay that created my square but we'll see it's really small uh, there is a shortcut to uh, get back to a good view of this you press control shift E and that'll bring us right here to our square okay now I'm looking right at my square my rectangle. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the push pull tool. This will get it to be three dimensional. This rectangle, I'm click once, I start dragging it up. I'll see in my distance, it's telling me how far I'm pulling it. I only clicked once, I'm not holding this click. And I'm going to press 0.75 and press enter. And that'll create my top shelf. All right, now that I have my top shelf, I need to make this a component. I want all of these square, this whole shape to act as one shape. As you'll notice, we're going to be using the move tool here in just a second. If I try to move this, it becomes all funky. And that is not what I want. I'm going to do control Z to not do that. I'm going to triple select, triple click select everything. If I double click, it selected just this rectangle, the plane, and the perimeter. If you triple click, it selects everything. So before you do this step, make sure you are selecting everything. 
if it doesn't work after you do this, it's because not everything was selected. So with the entire shape selected, I can tell it's selected because everything's blue. With the entire shape uh, selected, I'm going to right click and press make component. To right click on the trackpad, you click with two fingers on the trackpad. And go ahead and press make component. You just call it component one. All right, now we'll notice when I try to move this guy, it actually moves like, an, like a shape. And I want to raise this up to 35.25. Okay, there it is, it's floating now. And that's where it remains. I'm gonna go back one step. So notice, when I click this origin point, that's the origin, when I click this, and I, I establish the direction I want it to move. If I start establishing the direction this way along the green axis and type 35.25, it's going to move out there instead of up. Okay? So let's go back and let's click. And I need to establish the direction as straight up along the blue axis. Once you've established that direction, then type 35.25, enter. Let's do control shift E. Ooh, there's our floating shell. Excellent. Okay, the next step. Go ahead and pause, make sure you get to that point. The next step though is to grab the rectangle tool again. Click the origin, establish the direction. I'm not holding the click. Once again, I just clicked once and I started to drag. And do the same thing with 16 comma 36. Press enter. Sorry, I moved my mouse. 16 comma 36. Enter. Ooh, and it made it the wrong way. I don't want that. Let's do the old control shit. Control Z. Establish direction. 16 comma uh, 36. Enter. Okay. Here we go. Here is our shape. This is going to be our... We're actually going to uh, use this shape twice. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. But I'm going to click here on this corner. I'm going to start drawing another square this way. And I'm just going to do 1, 1. This makes a 1 inch square. I'm going to click the inside, delete. Click these lines and delete those lines as well. I'm going to do that on all four corners. I click this corner. I start dragging. 1, 1. Enter. Go back to the selection tool. That's what this one is. Selection tool, delete that, delete these lines, and then do that for over here. Remember if I do orbit tool, then I press and hold shift, it'll just move my camera because it's a pan tool. Go back to square, click, one comma, whoops, make sure I establish the right direction, one comma one, enter. If I click here and I start dragging this way, and I draw one comma one, it's going to make a square going that way. That's not what I want. Selection tool now. Select, delete, select, delete, select, delete. Okay, last time. Hopefully, we know how to do it by this fourth time. Okay, selection tool, or square tool. Click, one comma one, enter. Back to selection tool, click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. Okay, excellent. This is still a 2D shape though. Go ahead and pause the video. Make sure you get to this point before trying to move on. That's the key is to do each step. Pause, watch, pause, watch, pause, do what you need to do. The next step is to grab our push-pull tool. Click once. Don't hold the click. Drag. Go to point seven five. Press enter. Now we have another shape. We need to make this a component as well. I triple click this whole thing. It's all selected. Right click, which is the two finger click on the trackpad. Do make group. Press OK. This is going to be our bottom shelf with the move tool, which is this one again. The move tool, I'm going to establish the direction as straight up in the air. 
and the bottom shelf is going to be five inches from the bottom. Alrighty. Okay, now uh, I have this selected with the select tool. If I press Control C, I just press Control C and that copied this object. It copied it. It doesn't do anything because I, all I did was copy. I'm going to unselect it. I'm going to press Control V. Control V is paste. I'm going to paste it right there at the origin. That's right where I want it. I'm going to get this shelf to be right in the middle between these two. And I know that the middle is, I believe, 19.75. Right there. And that looks pretty middle-ish to me. So I'm saying that's good. Okay, remember, you notice these, this bottom shelf is the same as this middle shelf. And these have the squares cut out. The top shelf does not have those squares. And you're going to see why in just a second. The reason why is because I have an, I'm going to use the square tool again. I'm going to click right here on the origin. Draw a square. Once I establish the direction, draw a square that is... It actually doesn't matter the direction I have to go. I can go this way. 1, 1. Enter. Okay. I have this square with the push-pull tool. I want to click. Let me get a good view. Let me go to Orbit Tool. Press and hold Shift. Move down and then zoom in. You can zoom in on the trackpad by pinching your fingers together. Okay, with the push-pull tool. Click start dragging and go ahead and type in 35.25. Notice on the distance was changing. Press enter. Okay, this made a, a leg that is just the size that I need. I need this leg to be a component. So triple click. Get it all selected. The trick with doing the component is triple click, triple clicking and getting it all to be selected. Right click. Make component. Now it's all going to move together as one shape. This isn't quite where I want it to be. So, best, the best and easiest way to do this. Get in a position where I can see these two places. Because I'm going to move this into place. I'm going to select this outside corner. This corner is going to match up with that corner. So I click once. I'm not holding the click. I come back here and I, if I click again it just snaps it right to that corner and ooh that's looking good that's looking so good it just lines up perfectly alright we've made this shape once we don't need, need to make it again I can just click it once do the old control C which copies do the control V which is paste now this is my pro tip this is what's gonna make the difference this is what separates the boys from the men. Don't, a lot of you are going to try to just place this, line it up. Oh, that looks good. And try to do, try to just click it and place it there. That's not the best way to do this. The best way to do this is just to click it right here. Um, I clicked, I established it, I created it there. Now that it, now that it's created there, I'm just going to select the corner that lines up with this corner right here. So that would be this one. I select that corner, and now when I click that corner, it just snaps right to it. It's way easier than trying to just eyeball it and trying to get it in the exact right place. So let's do the same thing. Control C, Control V. I don't even need to do Control C because it was already copied. Same thing. Just place it right out here. Orbit around. Find right where it needs to go. Outside corner. To outside corner. Ooh. Ooh, looking good. One more time. Control V. Oh no. Not word. Control V right here. Let's go ahead and move this guy. No, no, no. Come back, come back. Sometimes I do this. Oh, I know this is the corner I want. Just snap it into place. Okay. It's starting to look, it looks like a shelf now, but there's one more step. Don't turn in your shelf just yet. If it looks like this, this is not going to get you full points. The next thing to do is to zoom on, zoom in on a, this corner right here, this top one on the short side. 
on this short side get to a view where I can view it just like this with my so square tool on this corner click we're going to do a one by one square again so type one comma one and then press enter then once we have that we're going to use the push pull tool again and we're going to pull this all the way out till it gets to this other side and it'll we can just snap it right to that edge right there the next thing we're going to do same thing we've done for the last little bit we're going to triple click make sure we have the whole thing selected if it just looks like this i only double clicked it's not blue everywhere triple click right click make component now that i have that as a component i can press Control c copy once again we already know how to do this use the pan tool and let's uh, grab this guy and do Control v bring it bring it over just bring it somewhere close snap this corner right to that corner i'm going to do this um, on this bottom one as well Control v click and click let's do that for the top now Control v bring it over somewhere close click and click two more times Control v click 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 and then Control v click 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 easy okay we're gonna do this one more time with the long side now all right this long side i'm going to this corner right here with the square tool once again let's click make uh, establish the right direction one comma one press enter then we're going to use the push pull tool this side is 36 inches long total minus the one inch on both sides for the legs so that means 34 total you can just press enter make that long these are called stretchers so i made the long stretcher here triple click make it a component and do the exact same thing that we've been doing control c control v bring it over make sure it's oh i was able to snap it right there oh shoot no worries just click and click got it again easy that's too easy control v see it's not it's not always easy just getting it to snap it right in the first time control v oh i'm getting it easy this time though the easiest way though is just to click it somewhere like this and then just click and then drag it to the point that I need it. And last one, control V. Bring it over and click and click. Okay, now check out our shelf. We have this awesome shelf with the stretchers. This is what it's supposed to look like. So now you just need to take a screenshot of this name it shelf underscore your name and I want a screenshot of the entire screen and then go ahead and turn in that screenshot for this assignment with the with the shelf completed and with the name shelf underscore your name that's how to make the uh, the sketch up sketch up shelf thanks for watching guys